The Watershed Stewards Program has been engaged in comprehensive, community-based watershed restoration and education throughout coastal California since 1994. Additionally, WSP provides watershed education and outreach, engages WSP members in volunteer recruitment efforts, and helps members develop into the next generation of natural resource professionals. WSP has been serving California watersheds spanning 650 miles for over 22 years. Our program has humble beginnings and was started with one goal in mind, to provide the needed research to save some wanted species. Hello, my name is Philip Lafalle. I'm here today to talk about uh, the history of the Watershed Stewards Program with the California Conservation Corps. In the late 70s, when the CCC was starting up, uh, there was a center down south of Eureka called Leggett. And um, at that time, folks were starting to realize that the Salmonid populations were declining. Uh, they didn't know why. They were noticed the commercial fishermen and sport fishermen were realizing that there, there weren't as many fish as there used to be. And it almost became like an emergency response. And that's how the salmon restoration project started up. And so the salmon restoration crews were started going into the creek and, and, uh, and pulling the wood out um, and burning it in the creeks and, and, and sort of trying to open up those barriers. Points, somebody discovered that that wood uh, really was a benefit to the Salmonids and that they needed that for cover. Um, so we went and started putting wood back in the creek, trying to improve habitat by installing uh, habitat structures. After uh, several years of doing that, the funding started becoming more competitive. And as you were writing grants to try to justify the need for the project work that you were doing, the folks start asking some questions. Some of those questions were as simple as, well, how many fish did you have when you started? And now how many fish do you have uh, at the end of 10 years of doing all this work? And we all kind of scratched our heads and said, well, we don't really know because we never counted the fish when we started. And there just wasn't enough bodies to do that kind of uh, technical field work. The agencies were overwhelmed. Uh, lo and behold came um, the opportunity to uh, uh, to write an AmeriCorps grant. It would be really a great partnership to get uh, young college graduates and folks that were working in the field to go out and do some of this field work and to work directly with the agencies. The agencies didn't have the capacity to hire them, but the CCC did through the AmeriCorps program. And thus, the Watershed Stewards began. In uh, 1994, we had our first Watershed Stewards at the Klamath Center, and they were out doing a lot of the field work to determine where we needed to uh, put our efforts into a restoration project. The Watershed Stewards Project was founded in 1994 through a collaboration between the California Conservation Corps and the California Department of Fishing Game. Thanks to the hard work of Mel Kreb, Gary Flossy, and Scott Downey. The program was funded with contributions from AmeriCorps, the Fisheries Restoration Grant Program, the California Conservation Corps, and the original placement site partners. It was a win-win situation. Uh, all of a sudden we were getting uh, habitat typing. We were really trying, starting to realize what kind of habitat the fish uh, wanted to live in. They were uh, doing spawning surveys, snorkeling surveys. They were looking at both rearing habitat and spawning habitat. And all of this information was starting to be uh, correlated and given back to the agencies, uh, which provided them with the data they needed to justify continuing uh, to do work. When WSP was founded in 1994, it included placement sites throughout Northern California and a main office in Fortuna. Oh, that was the beginning of the Watershed Stewards Program. My next sort of journey with it was when I transferred back to San Luis Obispo in 1998. I was aware that um, there used to be a lot of steelhead in the creeks and there were hardly any left. Um, they had become rare and threatened in this area and endangered south of the Santa Maria River and pretty much nothing was being done. So that was of concern to to myself and, and also with the fish and wildlife folks here locally, but they just didn't have the resources to do much. We um, 
started working in collaboration with Gary Flossie at the Fortunus Center to start a restoration pro program down here because we just didn't have enough data. There wasn't enough uh, watershed plans. There, there wasn't enough information about what habitat did exist, what habitat didn't, where the habitat was needed, and where the fish were. Uh, which streams were, were healthy enough to support fish populations. So we were really pushed hard to try to get watershed stewards down here. It was very difficult because uh, we also didn't have the agency funding down here nor the networking to, to create that uh, program. But after, you know, 10 years of working at it, in 2010 we, we started the watershed stewards program here in San Luis Obispo and and it has really thrived and, and been a, become a key component for our um, state, for the stakeholders down here in this area and for all the agencies that we work with. In 2011, WSP opened a Region 2 office in San Luis Obispo. Since then, the program has grown to reach as far south as the Santa Monica Mountains. We have watershed stewards on the Central Coast now, and, and, and they're even moving down, they've moved further south and I think we're gonna get quality restoration projects for the CCC as a result of the quality science being done behind uh, determining where those projects need to go. WSP has been a program for over 22 years and maintains its original funders, the California Conservation Corps, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and California Volunteers. Over the course of 23 years, WSP has partnered with 76 different placement sites. Today we host 25 placement sites and 50 AmeriCorps members each year. The sites span from the Oregon border all the way to the Santa Monica Mountains. While we have grown and changed over the last 23 years, we remain tied to our roots of watershed restoration for the benefit of Salmonids. The Watershed Stewards Program, Habitat Restoration, watershed education, and community engagement since 1994.